Hey guys, what's going on? Hope you're well. Welcome back into Iron Pros TV. So as you know, last week we were bringing you all of the news from Bama 2022, the world's largest trade show. And actually, there were so many product announcements and introductions at that show, so much news, that we're still going to be bringing you new content and videos from that show for the next few weeks now that we're back here in the States. And that includes the topic of today's video, which is Komatsu's first fully electric machine. Komatsu Komatsu recently announced a partnership with hydraulics and electrical engineering firm Moog to create this a fully electric compact wheel loader. Now the loader made its public debut at Bama and it was demonstrated as part of the Komatsu booth's daily demo show. Now, just as we've done with other fully electric machines, such as Bobcat's T7X compact track loader, we're gonna note here right up at the top that when we say fully electric, we mean that this machine doesn't just have a battery instead of a diesel engine. There's also no hydraulics whatsoever on this machine. Instead of hydraulics, they have been replaced with electric motors, actuators, servos, and cylinders. Now, this all electric system includes electric cylinders for the lift, tilt, and steering functions. And Komatsu says this fully electric steering system on this loader has made it much easier and more efficient to steer than a hydraulically driven loader. And because there is no transmission on this machine, the steering system manages the drive as well through an electric actuator and an electric traction motor. And this includes various software generated gear ratios that allow Komatsu to approximate the feel of a hydraulically driven machine that operators are used to while also making the steering on this machine much more responsive and much less tiring to operate throughout a shift. The electric traction motor on this machine is a particularly interesting component of this all-electric drive system. And that's because it allows Komatsu to integrate elements of machine automation or semi-automation more seamlessly into the operation of the machine without relying on the operator to initiate those things his or herself. Now, for instance, if the machine senses that you're trying to push into a pile, it could initiate automatically without you having to do anything an anti-tire slip or a, or a friction control kind of function that is gonna keep the tires from slipping as you push into that pile, keeping your footing a lot more solid and allowing you to fill up that bucket a lot more efficiently, a lot faster. Now the electric system on this machine also includes power electronics, a system control computer, and of course a battery and a battery management system. Now Komatsu says that it is starting work on electrification of its construction equipment on the smaller scale because of the still high prices of sourcing batteries. And speaking of the battery inside this machine, it was provided by Moog as part of the company's retrofit work on this machine. Now, Moog has become a very popular vendor within the construction equipment market as it has worked with multiple OEMs, including, as we said earlier, Bobcat and, of course, Komatsu, on bringing electric solutions into these particular machines. However, despite this, Moog considers itself a power agnostic company. And that's because the company's history is actually deeply rooted in hydraulics the technology that it's currently working to replace on construction machines. However, the company has also done a lot of work in commercial fields replacing hydraulics or looking beyond hydraulics as a solution. For instance, they've done a lot of work in the aviation field where on aircraft in various places they have worked to replace hydraulics with electric drive, electric motors and actuators and other components to simplify maintenance and to reduce failure rate of those components. But they've also done a lot of work Work in prosthetics and in robotics where there are obvious applications for electric motors and electric actuators and electrified movement of components on robots and on you know small prosthetics and the, the cool thing there is that they've been able to deliver reliable predictable and smooth electric motion in those prosthetics and in those robots for instance you know medical robots or surgery robots they've been able to do that consistently and that's on a much smaller scale scale than the scale they're working on now. And the way this works for Moog is that essentially an OEM approaches them with interest in electrifying machine. Moog gets to work stripping out all of the internal combustion engine and hydraulic components on that machine. And then they reverse engineer an all electric solution into that existing machine's footprint. Now for this loader in particular, Moog connected its engineering team with Komatsu's and they worked to identify first, not only the challenges that they were going to face as engineers in implementing electric power into this specific machine, but also to identify 
what new challenges or problems that making a machine electric when it has been, you know, ice and hydraulically driven and putting that on a job site, what new kind of challenges beyond charging are operators going to encounter because the machine is now electrically driven. And once the two engineering teams figured out the average kind of duty cycle of this all electric compact wheel loader, then they set about redesigning the machine's entire electrical architecture. And they create an integrated platform of hardware and software where the full machine can talk to basically itself and its various parts. So what ends up happening is that the software at the heart of this machine that's kind of controlling it, it acts as the brain, while the all-electric actuators and motors basically act as the arms and legs and the muscles. And it's that integration of hardware and software where the real power of electrification really comes into play on construction equipment. Now, when it comes to electric machines, a lot of people really just focus on the runtime of the machine. However, the ability to increase controllability of the vehicle, that's going to allow operators to accomplish the same task they've always had to do in much less time. And that's really been the story with this Komatsu compact wheel loader so far at BOM. And we actually got to talk to an operator with a lot of uh, wheel time behind this machine. And he has said so far what has impressed him the most has been the speed, has been the smoothness of operation, and just how easy it is to move this machine around a yard. All right, so when can you expect to see a fully electric Komatsu wheel loader hit the market? Well, there's actually several more steps in terms of bringing this thing to market that this machine is going to have to pass through. Now that there's a working prototype of the machine, Moog is going to get to work creating a version that can be scaled up in production of a first small run of about 100 machines or so. Then those machines will be tested in the field by Komatsu customers. And then when it comes time for a full-scale long-term production, Moog will continue to provide support by manufacturing the key electric components are in this machine and Komatsu will integrate those components into their production. And so in the end, this process Komatsu believes will take up to three years. So you're looking at around 2025 before this machine hits the market. And in the meantime, one last thing, Komatsu is going to have to decide on a battery partner for this machine and, and other machines that it plans to electrify. Now, Moog, as we said earlier, provided the battery that's in this machine prototype that you see in this video. But Komatsu says that they're likely going to explore a deal with Proterra. Proterra is a U.S. manufacturer of commercial batteries that the company already has a really solid relationship with. All right, guys, well, that's everything we know so far about Komatsu's very first all electric machine. Let us know your thoughts. And if you have any questions about this machine in the comments below, we always love hearing from you guys. And make sure to check out ironpros.com. On Iron Pros, we have the entire construction industry covered. We have equipment, workwear, and technology. And you can research all of those products and compare them to one another in one place. There's videos like this, articles, and a whole lot more. Check out ironpros.com. All right, guys, thank you so much again for watching the video. We always appreciate the time. We'll see you in the next one.